make music and put it on Spotify. Just kidding. I know you probably already heard that and you shouldn't give up on the idea if that is your dream. But there are more stable ways to make money with music without relying on your fans to buy your merch or streaming music. So let's get into it. The tips that I'm gonna give you are what I have been doing for the past five years to make full-time living with just music. Number one, work for hire or otherwise it's known as session musician. This is when you treat your skills as a service, whether it's singing, songwriting or both. And there are many ways to go about it, but a good place to start with are freelance platforms. To be successful on those, you need a nice video introducing yourself and your skills. Make sure to get inspired and see what other people on the platform are doing. That's what I did when I just started out and over time I figured out what worked best for me. Never get disappointed if something doesn't work out. Trial and error is a part of your way to success. So don't be afraid to just put yourself out there. To get started, you'll need a basic studio setup, whether it's something that you have at home or a studio that you rent. You can also get invited to these sessions in person, but if you, like me, don't live in one of these huge musical cities like London or LA, I wouldn't rely on that. Number two, collaborating with other artists. This can help you with so much to gain new fans, to gain experience, to get out of your comfort zone, to have a great time. If you're collaborating with your friends or if you're meeting somebody new, it can help you build a list of new clients and get more eyes on you. The club that helped me the most with my music so far is Niju with Moonboy. When he wrote me, I wasn't so sure if I can do it because at that point, I didn't know that much about drum and bass, but he was very encouraging and he was like, don't get threatened by the BPM because it was 160 and I haven't written on 160 before. But I trusted my intuition and I wrote a song that I'm still super proud of. And I'm saying I'm still because sometimes, you know, I look back to the songs that I thought in the moment that were hits or bangers and I'm like, it was a good song, but I've improved a lot since then. And now I'm writing much better songs. Well, Need You is still a fantastic song and I'm super proud of it. So thank you to Moonboy for having me on the track. Number three, you can ghostwrite for other artists and there are a couple ways to go about it. You can have a catalog of songs that you pitch to the artists that would best fit the genre, or you can have a publisher do that for you. Publishers also usually find sessions for you and help you get more uh, work. It of course depends on the deal. You can also participate in local songwriting sessions. Sessions bring you more sessions. That will bring you more credits and more royalties. Sometimes I find myself in sessions and I start thinking about how is this even a job and how crazy it is that, you know, you can spend your whole life just writing music and having fun. Number four, you can make products that you can sell and these don't need to be stuff like merch that is tied to your music and would only be appreciated by your fans. This can be stuff like sound packs where you sing hooks or voice effects ad-libs and then you can put it up on websites like Splice where other musicians that need your voice can find your sound pack and purchase it. Sound packs aren't the only thing that you can do. I also created a release strategy plan that goes very deep into everything that I have learned by releasing singles and everything you can do to make sure that you have the best outcome with the song that you are putting out. And the last tip I'm gonna give you today, number five, is playing live. The same concept goes here. Having gigs will get you more gigs. And having a good booking agent can also help you a lot with that. And you can get your first gigs by playing at open mics, contests, singing contests. You can ask your friends to open for their band. Be creative and take advantage of all the opportunities that are laying right in front of you. So if you didn't like your nine to five, you can now work 24 seven. You're welcome. But this was a joke. You do need to take care of yourself. Please, please do that because burnout isn't gonna help you or anybody else. I love you all. And if you don't hear it that often, I'm proud of how far you've gotten so far. I'm sure you're all gonna get through the music industry and watching this video shows that you're taking the first step. Now, if you've gotten this far in the video, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And I would also appreciate if you checked out my music as well. I make hot girl music with a fairy vibe in my purple pajamas in my home studio. So if you're into that, you can thank me later. Bye.